everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today we are going to create a makeup look for fall but using my new palette from Huda Beauty and uh, today I'm going to use uh, this desert dusk palette now I just got this two days ago I didn't have time to play with it the palette looks beautiful I also got the Huda Beauty textured shadow palette rose gold edition now I did use this once and this one is also very beautiful but I'm going to do a video with this palette next week but today we are going to create a fall makeup look using uh, this beautiful palette now I really love this packaging and look how beautiful it is this palette is a little bit smaller than I expected but it feels very heavy, it feels expensive, it is expensive around I think $65 but look how beautiful it is, it comes with a big nice mirror and this is so cute and the shadows are amazing, I really really love this palette let's just do a couple of swatches a mask, a musk I think this is called beautiful doesn't show up a lot in my on my hand now we're taking amber swatch is very nice old I think this is called the br brown shade swatch is okay but they are all very soft powder a little bit powdery but they are soft twilight looks amazing duochrome love it and let's take retrograde swatch that one too it's a little bit chalky but I think you need glitter glue with this or this Cosmo is also a loose glitter so you do need glitter glue for that shade let's take this celestial celestial the gold shade here let's watch this the shades look beautiful but I'm going to create a makeup look using this palette I really love the mirror in here in this palette and it's heavy and it close very nice travel friendly so I really like this palette how it looks I haven't tried it so I'm going to do that today and if you want to see what makeup look I will create with this palette please keep on watching now I already have my foundation and uh, everything else on my face today because I wore this makeup for a couple of hours, at least seven hours. I didn't do my, my eye look, eye makeup because I wanted to play with uh, this palette, but I didn't have time for to do that to do that this morning. So that's why I do this at evening. But we are here to create makeup looks. So I really love this packaging, and Huda is so beautiful. Well, I think she's very beautiful and I haven't tried any of her products before so it's going to be interesting to play with that I'm very interested to try her lipsticks I don't know why I didn't uh, we do have them in Sweden in Swedish Sephora and for this makeup look I'm going to use my favorite brushes from Paris Berlin and uh, I'm going to take this desert sand all over my eyelid and I'm going actually to use this mirror because this mirror is very nice. I'm creasing a little bit. Just to set my primer. Or well, I don't have a primer, but my foundation that I have on my eyelids. And I'm going into this Eden shade. This one blends very nice. They are pigmented, but but you do need to build it up if you want to have this shade as intense as it is in the palette. And that's what I really like. I don't like. I want to build up my shades. I don't like going in uh, once and then you have that right strong pigment. And then I'm going to go into this. Uh, 
I think I'm going to go into this hmm, amber, this one, in my crease too, just a little bit lower. It is easy to blend. I was afraid that this wouldn't blend nicely, but it does. I'm going to take this Eden again and just blend here a little bit. I think this looks very nice. <clears throat> then I'm going to take this smaller blending brush and I think I'm going to go into this. Um, hmm. uh, I think I'm going to blazing this one orangey shade. And have that right into my crease. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Now I heard and I watched mixed reviews for this palette. And some people love it, some people don't. I really like it right now. Right now I do like it. Then I'm going to go into this um, saffron this shade with the same blending brush, the smaller blending brush. Then I'm going to take Paris Berlin's flat brush. They don't have any names or numbers on them. That's kind of the one thing that I miss because when I do these kind of uh, videos, I would like to say the name of the brush that I use, but the flat one. And then I'm going to go take the same saffron, uh, saffron shade. As you can see, it is very pigmented, but you do need to build this up. And they are so easy to blend. Really love this palette right now and the shades that I'm using. I'm going to take this smaller blending brush again and going into this blaze, the orange shade, and go into my crease. I want to make it darker. just going with the feeling then I'm going to take this flat brush again I'm going to this shade here the darkest shade in the palette and just deep this a little bit then I'm going to into the saffron again I want it red Beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to clean this brush here. I love this brush. And I'm going to try to take uh, this shade Twilight in the center of my eyelid, but I'm going to try to use this brush and see if it's working. I kind of prefer to use my fingers when I use this kind of shades or eyeshadows, but I'll, I want to try using a brush. Wow. So beautiful. I'm going to try it with the finger and see. I'm back with a smaller blending brush. I'm going to mix these shades, blazing and saffron together. And I'm going to take this big blending brush and take this um, 
desert sand. Now we're going to do something under the lower lash line. I'm going to use this brush. This is also from Paris Berlin. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of, it's not straight, but it's a very nice, smaller blending, blending brush. I'm going to go into Eden. The first shade that we had in our crease. And then I'm going to go into Amber. Sorry. And I'm going to go into this flat brush again. And I think I'm going to take um, Niferti, I don't know, I can't pronounce uh, this shade here. A little bit fallout from this shade. I think it's good. It's better if you use it to wet. So I'm going to wet the brush. I'm really interested to see how this uh, gold green shade looks like. It looks very gold. When I watch, look at it from the side, it looks green, this shade here. But when I look at this from this angle, it looks pink. And from this angle, it looks gold. Interesting shade. I'm going to take a little bit of that shade. Beautiful. I'm going to take this small uh, brush and I'm going to take this ret retrograde, this shade, I can't pronounce it. Place it here. Beautiful shade. Wow. And a little bit here. This is the final look. I really love this look. I love how my eye look turned out. I think this is going to be my favorite makeup look this fall. And why it reminds me of fall, it's this deep red brown shade uh, that I really love wearing during the wall, <laughs> wall, fall. And I love this palette. I very I'm very impressed and I think the shades that I've used are beautiful now of course with some of the shades it's better if you use glitter glue like this Cosmo it's duochrome there are some like red green and gold glitter here and maybe this shade these shades too I'm going to buy a glitter glue and try it with that and of course I'll tell you what I really think in my haul video, but I love how this makeup look turned out. I love it. I love it. I don't want fa I don't want to wash my face today. Now my hair is very messy, and um, yeah, just don't look at it. Now, this was everything I had for you today. I hope you like um, this video. If you do, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And see you in my next video. Bye!